We're on a bit of a slow start for your side, but you pushed back in the end and you probably could have got three points in the end. Yeah, probably a, a fair way of summing it up. We, uh, we, we, we were sluggish tonight in the first half. I was disappointed with... Um, you know, how we sort of performed as a whole. We, we, look, they, they didn't do anything that surprised us. It was just they competed a bit harder, a bit more aggressive, a bit sharper than us. And, um, you know, I sort of reminded the boys at halftime of that fact that, you know, we were getting out competed and we needed to be better. And we showed a great response in the second half. We made some changes. Um, the application was better. And, you know, I think in the end we, we'll, we'll feel a little bit disappointed that we didn't go in and win it. The response in the second half, something we've seen a few times, you know, is that really pleasing for you, that resilience in the side, that even if they are a goal down at home, they can keep fighting and get something out of the game? Yeah, and, and you know what? This is what I say to our players, you know. We're now six, is it six games undefeated. Um, haven't had all the wins we'd like, but that was a game last year we may have lost and we found a way to come back and, and probably should have gone on to win it. Uh, you gave Joe Knowles a start up front. How do you think he went in the lone, lone centre striker role? Yeah, did well. Um, you know, had a couple of chances. I'd be disappointed that he didn't take them, but um, he was in the right areas. And, uh, you know, like when I look at the game as a whole, I think we all improved in the second half. You know, I think there was a great reaction. We were far more um, upbeat on the front foot and uh, the crowd lifted us. The crowd was great in the second half. And uh, like I said, it's uh, for us. I mean, you know, we understand they're a good side that we played tonight. A very good team. But... Uh, but, but we found a way to, to arrest the momentum back and we, we could have gone on to win it. Your wingers have done some good things for you this year. Uh, I mean, the, Carlo's goal, that was a cracker. And like you said before, you, you really can depend on him. What, what do you make of his progress and, the, and that goal? Yeah, look, we're really happy to have Carla here. You know, that was a um, some, someone we were looking for for a while. I'm, I'm really happy that he joined us before the start of the season. He's only going to get better and better. Uh, he's still working his way back to fitness, and, and we could see tonight he was cramping and fatiguing, you know, late in that second half. So uh, pleased with what he's doing, and he's only going to get better. Uh, we're really happy to have him here. Um, obviously, Charlie Austin has, has left, uh, Jesse Daly as well. Are you looking to replace uh, those those two players come the transfer window opening? Absolutely. I think the club, you know, um, the club's been great on this. We, we've, we've spoken about this. We, we have a plan in place. We're, we're looking at our options. Um, you know, this wasn't a surprise to us. We were definitely on the front foot with this. So, you know, there's nothing we're going to talk about now, but we're, we're very, um, you know, calm about the situation. We know what we want to do, what we want to bring in. Um, and we'll assess all our options, and when the time's right, we'll, I'm sure we'll uh, make our moves and make announcements. Also, um, obviously, younger players in the squad, Cyrus Demi, Jez Lofthouse, you know, had some you know, chances late in the game. Are they, is it a case of them being sort of, they're, they've arrived in the A-League, but it's just that missing that, that last link to being, you know, successful or you know, grabbing that, you know, that moment? Yeah, I think that's that, that's it. That's the way, you know, and I'm, I'm more than happy to give the opportunity, but it's a player that's got to go push the door down and actually get a starting spot or get more minutes. And, uh, you know, I'm just uh, pleased that we, we can give local talent opportunities, but it's up to them if they earn the right to, to enter the pitch. And you look at players like Kai Truen, Henry Hoare, um, Jordan Courtney Perkins, um, they're, they're doing that. So it's for the rest to follow. It's for the rest to try and emulate. And... Uh, you know, I'm certainly not going to just hand out any freebies. They've got to go and earn it. So um, that's what we want to see. Uh, I was pleased they got some minutes tonight. And I thought uh, both of them showed some promising signs when they came on. And, uh, you know, but they've got to back it up now. Just, uh, nearly a third of the way, I think, basically through the season. How do you sum up where you are um, on the ladder and, and how you position for the, for the mm. next two thirds? I think that puts us into fifth now, doesn't it? With game in hand, potentially, depending on how the results go. So, look, we're... We're good at drawing games, so I can say that. We, we want to turn more draws into wins. But we're in a good spot. We, you know, I said this uh, last week. It's, um, you know, I got asked where I want to be in January. January is irrelevant to me. It's where I want to be at the end of the season. We want to be in the top six. And, and we're going to fight two for nail to try and do that. So we keep picking up points. We picked up a point tonight. Like I said, it's not what we wanted, but it's, 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 a, it's one point more than what we had. So we'll keep working. We'll keep looking to improve with and without the ball. And... Um, try and turn some of those draws into some wins.